Welcome back to the 27. This is a pit strategy setup guide for AMS2. As with the setup options in the sim, pit strategy can be one of those things that, pe that puts people off due to its complexity, but the only reason why it's complex is because of the myriad of circumstances that a driver can find themselves in. The reason why we need to set specific pit strategies though is because it may give you an advantage in races where pit stops are required. But also, as the game mature, matures, you'll absolutely need to be on top of this as your competition most definitely will be. So first we need to do um, uh, sort of a QC in the beginning. So we're going to select Edit Setup and we're going to load um, a default setup for the Copa Montana. Click Advanced Settings and check your pressures. Um, so we're going to remember these. It's 37s on the front, 33s in the rear. Keep a mental note of that. Um, so let's start creating pit strategies, shall we? Um, okay, so the game starts off setting you as a default. I deleted all of my uh, my setups for you guys just for this video. <laughs> um, but anyway, let's get into the defaults and what, what's going on here. Why is this uh, saying 780 seconds? Okay, so the reason why is because it's contemplating all of these damage fixes. And if I turn them all on... Um, and I turn off the fuel, you can see it's seven, it'll be 780. So the numbers all make sense. But uh, yeah, so you can change the fuel, you can change tires, the tire compounds, the pressures of the car, um, the damage, all of the descent to damage options. And because the game works on one of the components after the other, it's all, you know, it's it's not done at the same time. If everything in the new car was broken, it would take 780 seconds. But that never is going to happen. A lot of the times you'll have, you know, 25% damage on the front and only 1% damage on the rear, you know, in the suspension or something like that. Um, so we need to create different pit strategy strategies. So let's start doing that right now. Um, okay, so let's create a new one. What's the most uh, frequent pit strategy that you're going to need to do? And that's going to be a tires only strategy. Um, most often for a sprint race, 30 minute race, whatever, you're going to have enough fuel on board the car. And, you know, say the host of the lobby has a mandatory pit stop. So let's create a tires, um, let's say dry tires, just to make sure it's clear. Dry tires. Let's create that strategy first thing we're going to do is make sure that all of the damage options are off and then watch the pit stop estimation just go down boom 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 nine seconds and that's because we're only adding fuel so we're going to go to fuel and tires and the game is set to add fuel let's turn that off we're not going to add any fuel we don't need it the car has enough um, we're going to change tires to all you also can change them to just the fronts or just the rears if you want but I always do all um, and then it's going to select the dry soft slicks um, and here's where the QC comes into play you can see that the loaded setup is um, it's pulling the pressures from the loaded the setup we just loaded so 37s in the front 32s in the rears we're all set here for a sprint race in the Copa Montana so let's go ahead and save that and then we'll go back what's the next most frequent um, tire, uh, most frequent pit stop strategy, and that would be you. You know, you're in a sprint race, but the host of the lobby say he has some, you know, weather modifiers happening halfway through the race, but you don't know when it's going to be. But you're, you know, it's coming. You know, it's heavy rain. Let's create a, a wet tire strategy. Wet. I'm gonna say wets. And again, we're gonna turn off all the damage. Okay, we're going to turn off the fuel. That's done. We're going to do all and then switch it to wets. Now, another thing here, there is an option to do automatic by weather. I do not recommend using that. Um, that puts the, uh, the tire change into the hands of the game and out of your hands. And sometimes, you know, the game could have a bug. Or the game could think that you should be on soft tires when the track is too wet or, you know, wet tires when the track is too dry. So you want to have that option to create that specific circumstance. And so now we have a wet tire strategy as well. Another scenario, say, hmm, you get run into and your front left suspension is damaged and you need to 
um, fix your suspension. Let's do let's do full repair. Full repair. This will fix everything on the car that's broken. But I'm going to give you a warning right now. Um, so we're going to enable all the repairs. We don't need to do fuel. We'll have enough. We don't need to do tires. Um, the warning that I'm, I alluded to is the game will repair something with 1% wear or 1% damage. So say you went over a sausage, sausage curb, the front right suspension, but it's drivable. But then someone hits you in the front left. Um, it's going to repair both of those in succession, um, not at the same time. So you can see it's going to be devastating to your race. 120 seconds to repair both suspensions. If it's just the front left, it's going to cost you only 60 seconds. Now, most of the time in a sprint race, that's enough to, you know, just destroy your race and come in last. But, um, you know, that's one of those things. Endurance racing, you're going to have to have a lot of these presets isolated. Like, so, for example, suspension chain, um, suspension fixes only, brake fixes only, gearbox fix only, engine only. Oh, here's another one that's a good one to use. Um, this is full repair, so let's turn these back on and save this one. But let's uh, consider another likely scenario. Say you're an F1 driver, right? Let's go back. Let's create a new um, pit strategy. It's called Arrow. You know, you just knocked your front wing off at Monaco. You need to come in for a repair. So let's turn off the fuel. Don't need it. The car might have enough. Don't need tires and probably the tires will last through the whole race but you want to change that front wing because it's going to ruin your uh, driving experience let's turn all these oh i gotta turn them off actually uh let's turn off the engine and the gearbox you don't want to have to replace the engine mid-race uh, so there you go the front arrow and the rear arrow is set to be changed um, it'll change whatever's damaged um, so if it's just the front wing it'll be 20 seconds if it's just the rear wing it'll be 40 seconds if it's both it'll be a total of six, 60 seconds. Let's save that. Okay, now this is where it gets kind of in the weeds. Let's go back again. Say you're a league racer and you have, you know, a 60 minute race where, um, you know, you need to add fuel for sure. The car doesn't hold enough fuel, uh, but you also need to add tires as well. So this is where we start getting, uh, creating different uh, strategies for different scenarios. Um, but more importantly, setting up a optimal pit strategy for the race. So let's create a new strategy. Um, let's see here. Tires and fuel. Okay, so we set the tires and fuel. We're going to add, say the full tank is, you know, it'll last you 30 minutes. Um, but say you need another five laps after that. There we go. Five laps. If you need 10 laps, put 10 laps of fuel in. The time on the track is negligible. Um, that's why it's always pre preferable to fill up the car and, and the, the time it takes in the pits to, f to fuel the, the fuel up um, to fuel up the car is going to just take gobs of time. So always fill up the car first and then just add whatever you need later. So let's also change the tires. Recommended. Soft slicks down the board. Pressures are good. Save it. There you go. So you can see that you can get uh, definitely in the weeds with creating pit stop strategies you might create a tire fuel repair strategy or um, a tire um, repair or fuel and repair you know all of the different scenarios that you can envision but uh, the one thing that i do want to reiterate is that with the dry tire setup like say this is the one that you saved and you saved it in the copa montana as we did here um, with the pressures at 37 and 32 this is going to transfer over so the pit strategy is going to transfer over the tire pressures to your next race with which, which may be you know a formula v12 and the tires this these pressures are going to be way off you need to go into the formula v12 and change the pressures to the v12's pressures um, that's an absolute must, otherwise it's going to give you these sloppy, soft uh, pressures. Um, finally, let's go into how to make in-game or in-race adjustments. Um, so first, we're going to set the strategy that's going to be our you know, selected strategy for the race. And this is going to be our optimal strategy. Dry tires. There we go. Um, but say, for example... 
we need to fix the arrow. Let's uh, start the race. We're going to be using the multi-function display, and here it is right here. And you can see you have a lot of options here, brake bias, fuel map, etc. Um, this is where you request a pit stop, and you can cancel the pit stop as well. But it's down here in race strategy, which I'm trying to point your attention to. So say for, we have the current strategy is set to dry tires. Um, what if it starts to heavy rain? Um, or what if the, your front wing falls off? We need to adjust the strategy. So this is where having the pit strategy presets preloaded helps. You adjust the strategy and you would, I'm sorry, not adjust the strategy. It's select the strategy, excuse me. You would select arrow, boom, and then go back. And then maybe you want to add a tire compound. There you go, soft slicks. Uh, and maybe you want to uh, fuel the car while you're at it. You have to add the. You have to physically add all of the, <laughs> all of the fuel. That's going to take forever, or it's actually going to be really hectic when you're trying to ra race at full speed to do this. That's why it's always important to have the presets. Go back, and you can see the arrow is the strategy selected. Uh, when you get in the pits, they're going to add the fuel. They're going to add the soft, soft slicks, um, and that's how that works. So that's the pit strategy guide for AMS2. Um, coming up, Race in USA is heavily anticipated. I look forward to do to uh, diving into the Corvette, the Porsche, the BMW, and the Cadillac on all the tracks. Um, in the meantime, thanks for watching and take care.